it's all right. It's not that type of hospital. I haven't um, fully committed to this lunatic lifestyle just yet, people. Don't worry. No. Bernice Horrigate called it the hospital. Don't know what it's about. I think it's horrible, I don't know, probably. Hospitals aren't nice at the best of times, so. We're probably gonna have some fucking leprosy bitch chasing us naked down the corridors. Don't threaten me with a good time. Let's play the game! Just finish eating this gold bar because it's so fucking sexy! Right, I finished my biscuit. Let's play. Let's go. New game. Best experience with headphones. Well, lucky for you, sunshine. I'm wearing headphones. Adjust the brightness until the bar above. Until you can barely see. Fuck that, mate. I want it full whack, I want to be able to see everything going on. <laughs> oh! <coughs> Some ugly ass toes, pal. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. You got the Rona, mate. Checked in the hospital last week, barely able to breathe. Fucking definitely the owner. Paid a lot to get a private room. Fucking hell, money bags. I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in the hospitals across the country. It's been... Is this based on fucking coronavirus? I'm not going to pronounce that fucking word. Pandemonium? There we go. So many sick, so many dying. Well, it's life in it. I feel like I've become a number. The statistic! I think I'm growing sick here. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me down. Just kidding. Put me under to intubate me. You mean incubate? Is that, is that right? Incubate? I don't know. I'm not a fucking doctor. My condition got worse. Well, if I don't make it, it would be a horrible way to die alone in this room. Well, you did pray. You did pay for a private fucking room, pal. It's your fault. Never believe in God, not heaven. Come on, are we done with this yet, mate? I wonder what happens to a person after they die. Nothing. You get eaten by maggots. Never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. Oh my, he's still talking. I'm feeling weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now. Shh. Just let the dirt shower over you. He's definitely dead, isn't he? He died. Or she died. And now I'm a ghost. That's what I'm calling. I'm calling it, people. I'm dead. I'm up. How am I up? Am I? Because you're dead, mate. Walk around, yes, using the waspy keys. Okay. Finally, we get to move. That's very um. Wow. No, that's all right. That'd be fair. Can we get back in bed? Let's go. Let's watch some TV. <clears throat> don't remember any of it so the bed is made I'm on my feet and he doesn't remember a thing he's a ghost hope you guys are reading this because I'm not 9 o'clock time for party where are the boys at get the pre-drinks in let's go Hooking me up to this thing, it's infernal beeping, the hiss of pumping oxygen. Well, would you rather it not keep you alive? Alright. 
bathroom door is supposed to be locked. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Who locks a bathroom door, mate? Shit yourself! She wasn't scary, she looked fine. Doctor. Hello? Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity all day and night. Filled with nurses and doctors and patients. Dying. Strange. There were no signs. I could swear there were signs. Up oh, what? Big words for me, these, mate. Ooh, plum pot. Nurse's station. To what? Sitting behind this desk, I think, calls. The nurses do that? Isn't that a receptionist job? Still not like a fucking nurse's station. <laughs> I do apologise about my fucking cold. Just won't do one. I'm pretty sure I'd be room numbers, okay. Guess we may all go that way, but never mind. We'll check all the doors, why not? Sealed tight. Not even water's getting through that, mate. We just wait here until someone comes. It's time stopped. Okay, exit. No luck. Lobby with elevators. That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. Oh shit, it's that woman again. I'm gonna ask for her number. <clears throat> okay. Can't read that for shit, mate. Hands, face, space. Okay, I guess we're going through here. Hello? That woman? That woman can't be my wife, he'd recognise her. Angel of Death. These patient wards. Deserted. There's got to be someone, a nurse doctor. A man on a pony. What's going on? Fucking hate hospitals, mate. Oh, fuck off. I'm not going in there. Yeah, I don't care, mate. He can die in peace. Fuck him. Oh, God. Hello, sir. Don't eat my face. You shit the bed! Poor Consuela has to clean that shit up. It's a fucking mess, I know it is. Look at that. Them stains. Hi, clean. No, no. Fuck my life. Well, I suppose that's why she gets the big books. Dirty bastard. You've asked that already. Doesn't budge, fucking great. Do you open? Guess I've got to go back in this damn room. Right. How awful there's some sort of stain. Yeah, fucking shit stain. Departed. Departed through his fucking anus.
She shit the bed, that's what she did. Yeah, I'm not going out there, I'm going to the bathroom. Fucking hell. I'm leaving this fucking place, cause it smells of shit! It reminded me of... No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies dead. <laughs> Mate, you're dead. Just, uh, just accept it. She's scaring me now. She reminds me of the woman from a game called Hellseed. Fucking, that was scary, that man. I help. I was helping myself to a sandwich in the kitchen, and she just comes along and eats my face. I think it was her sandwich, to be honest. To be fair, I did find it in the fridge. I thought it was fair game, you know what I mean? Oh wait man, these are the same fucking corridors. What's going on? This one's open. <laughs> Alright, I'll You want your privacy, yeah. Oosh. That was a corpse in there, yeah, he was. Man, I want to see the dead body. Someone toying with me? Am I being? Am I being punked? Ashley Kutcher's gonna jump out and be like, "Hey, you've been punked, bitch." Who is it? Who is it? I want to know. I gotta know if you really love me. Oh, fuck off. What happened there? I heard a door creep. Was it you? No. Okay. Yeah, goose whoops. Where am I? What? How? How did I get here? I recognise this place. The furniture. And the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live. Except every everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. Something on the table there. What the fuck? So so this woman's like my Oh! Hi Denise, it's good to see you, you're looking well. Got a makeover? You had your hair straightened? It can't be her. Well it's her mate, she just stood right there. And she looks pissed off. Dump her by text. Fuck. Oh she's slowly turning to me. How is this possible? Oh, she's gonna eat me. She'd been dead for four years. Oh, she's gone near. I was close. I was close. I'm dead, mate. Told you. Familiar silence. Don't know if you could see this because I'm a fucking fat head in the way. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt have haunted me since. But I have saved her life and her face differently. And at what cost? 
Did I have a cigarette or something and let the fucking place on fire? Killed her. It's my fault. Only called silence. What does she want? She wants revenge, mate. Ooh! <sighs> Fucking bitch. Nia? Am I going crazy? Yes, you are. Whew! She looked dead, mate. She looked... Well and truly, brown bread. What's this? Photo? Photo of Nia? Just after yet another bitter fight. Okay. Mental illness. Okay. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament. Brooding silences. Fixed stares. An obsession with my whereabouts. Self-harm. She refused when it was clear she was coming a danger to both of us. I ended our relationship. The phone calls were stalking the threats. Finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed. Oh, kinky! Staring at me. Her dark eyes empty and unreadable. Her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. Whew. Sounds like my kind of woman, this. I like a bit of psycho. When I saw what she was holding in her hand. She was holding a fucking knife. I've read this, mate. Come on. It's an ugly ass furniture, mate. Could have sorted that shit out. What's that? Hello, Nia. Is this place definitely dead? I'm in hell. Nia is the devil. That's gonna be me. That's me. That I'm calling it, man. I'm calling it. I recognize those tours anywhere. Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench here is terrible, I should move on. It's me, I'm telling you. That's my feet. Oh. Nope. Doesn't budge. Good one. What now? <laughs> Oh, stop laughing at me, you bitch. You just threw my own dead body at me. What are you doing? You don't throw a man's dead body at him. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. Oh, maybe that wasn't me. One of these are me, definitely. Nah, this little pig went to market. I uh, don't know the rest. <laughs> but he's definitely dead. Oh! Nope. Oh, fuck off, man. What's that noise? <sighs> Fucking more feet, mate. Ticklish. Nah, he's dead. Okay. Door. She better not pop out the ceiling. So bitch, she creeps me out, mate. 
All that knife four years ago when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. Fucking called it, didn't I? Fucking good me. As I watched, she raised it and stabbed my dick. Oh, she held it to her throat. Never mind. She said, I don't want to live without you. Is that you too? I don't want to live without you. I can't live. That's the one. No. We've all without you, yeah, that's the one. Fucking tune, mate. Gotta listen to that later. <clears throat> Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her. Leaped. Grabbed the blade away and subdued her. Till the authorities arrived. Fucking Batman roll over here, mate. Batman. Put her away in an astute mental hospital. A week later, I got that terrible call. She's transcended into a fucking supernatural serial killer. Those are the ways. <laughs> Those are the worst kind. She's staring at me, man. Close the door. I don't want to see this shit. Why did you have to go like this? They told me you wrote on a note your last words. Oh. What do you want from me, me dear? I did what I could. Why are you, why are you tormenting me? Okay. I'm not going over to her. You mad fam. Nia. What do you want from me? Think of that note you left, the last word you ever wrote. Why didn't you come to my birthday party? Oh! Oh! Closer. I'm never gonna let you go, cause you're my baby. All those words meant to you. Fuck it. Is this what this is about? More compassionate, you might still be alive. She's getting closer, mate. What were those last words? I need to know. Oh, he didn't die. I thought he died. That's a shame. How did I get here? Near. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm still here. Do I dare go out there? Yes, you dare. What will I find? Bustling hospitals, smiling faces. Why would there be smiling faces in a hospital? Or shadowy halls haunted by my past. Trapped in a body that has wasted away. Or I suffer a fever dream, born of guilt. This fucking guy, yeah, he should be a, a novelist. <laughs> Tom is soul stalking me for all eternity. To be fair, that was really good. I enjoyed that. <clears throat> I need to know the last words, though. <laughs> what were those last words? <laughs> they were probably there, but I missed them. I won't pay attention. But there you have it, people, the hospital. Yeah. Don't be, um,. Don't be going to one anytime soon. That's my advice. See you with the next one, peeps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.